Oh, Jesus. Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's you Tom. You can't see it, but that's Tom. You want to look over there? And there's oh, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now we're out here in the dark setting up our blinds so that way in the morning we can go out and so don't have to right worry about dark. making a bunch of noise, scaring them all away, hopefully. Yeah, so you know, we're just setting up some blinds. Uh, we're getting ready. We're going to go back and make some camp. Thanks for joining the adventure. Oh man, that thing's seen better days, huh? I'm just setting up my little pop-up. Uh, I think I'm gonna be close enough to both of them that I'll be able to film it, which will be nice. Since I'm not really looking to fill another tag this weekend. <laughs> you guys are just jealous. Yeah. Slightly. You're all just haters. You get to film me sleeping. Good job. True. This is getting weird, guys. Hey. I guess John's cold. <laughs> Oh no, just my hands. Oh, John's hands are cold. We're having a nice little fire. Uh, we are about to go to bed. Oh uh, God, stop tickling me, Jesus! <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to bed so we can wake up early and go stick a spiky boy. Spiky boy. Oh, good morning. We just got a little heat on, trying to get through the day, so we could get up and go out and stick a spiky boy. I'm trying to convince them both that it doesn't matter because I already got deer. So we should just stay in our sleeping bags. But John's pretty insistent on going and getting a deer, so we're going to get it done. Oh, we're going out to the blinds. Just getting John in his. Getting some heaters going. Happy hunting, John. I just brought three little pop-ups out and set them all up within 150 yards of each other. John's about 50 yards over there somewhere. Um, so See that white part right there? That's the snow on top of his blind. The idea being I'm not hunting. I'm just filming. So I wanted to be between them where I could see them. But didn't want them to where they could shoot each other. So they're both aware of where I am and don't have windows open toward me. So, you know, we're just waiting for some good shooting light so we can get into it. Just starting to get into some good shooting light. You can see we found the only openings in the thickest, dankest stuff here in the National Forest. Because that's where we think the deer are going to be. Well, we got the first shooting light, and it got a little brighter, and then it got darker again as the storm moved in. It's starting to get real windy. I hear those guys shuffling around every once in a while, but otherwise, all I'm hearing is the wind and some birds. As that wind picks up, we're all making some life choices about our blinds. Closed a window or two, and Tom's closing a couple windows. It's getting cold. I've only been out here a couple hours, but... I don't know, in about an hour I'm going to go check on him, I think. Just really glad for hand muffs and propane heaters. Tom said this time's going to be different, so I'm going to film it. It was different. We got out of our blinds for a little bit, so we could have some lunch, go on walkabout, see if we can see some deer sign. You know, screw off a little of the things you do on the last day of deer season. You guys having a good time in your blinds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wish you were seeing deer, but it it's definitely feels like deer season. It's still deer season. Couple more hours. We're gonna take a walkabout and see what we can see. We're just ranging around and we find a porcupine in a tree. Don't want to get stuck with the stickers. That's about the only tree we found that's not a pine in here. 
We're scouting around, trying to look for somewhere to hunt for the evening that looks more promising than when we sat this morning. How you feeling, guys? Pretty good. Optimistic. See anything good? See anything you like besides that porcupine? So we have been scouting around for hours. Just hours. I am whooped. Are you whooped? Oh, beat. We're back here having a beer and a snack. I think we might call it a day. I know. It's depressing for those of us that don't have deer. John's pretty upset, but it is what it is. yeah, I mean, it, at the end of the day, what it is is we had we scouted around a bunch and saw nothing. I even took the drone up and flew it a bunch. And saw where there's literally nowhere for there to be deer around here. So instead of completely relocating camp and everything, because we like our camp, we're just going to call it a gun season for right now. You can still hang out with us. Right, you can still hang out with us. Uh, we got got some beers to drink. Not while we're shooting. No, of course not. But we got after beers to after. drink. We got snacks. We got some steaks and beer for later. Stay tuned. Still going to be a good adventure. Just taking blinds down, you know. A little teamwork, getting it done quick. While there's still some daylight left, figure get it done easy. We're all using the Ameristep blinds. I had a little doghouse, and they've got these two, you know, bigger box blinds, the hubs. How do you like them? They're good. I like them. I like it a lot. Plenty of room. Yeah, I don't have as much room in the doghouse. You know, I wish you can't stand fully tall in it, uh, but you can still kind of stand up in them. But I like all the windows. I like how they have the back cover and the meshing. Yeah, we're all using Ameristep blinds. It's easy. Not because not because we're sponsored, but because they're cheap and easy. Yeah. And everywhere. And everywhere you can find these blinds anywhere. Costco. Costco. Literally saw no sign of deer back in here that's been recent at all, like weeks old, so probably before gun season. You don't know till you know, and now we know that this area is bunk, so we don't have to come in here again. We might come in here for, like, snow camp, though. It's a nice area to come in and know we're not going to disturb any animals, because there are no animals here besides, like, porcupines. We're just going to pack up our blinds and get them back to camp, and then eat some early dinner. It's a slab of beef. Good slab of beef. Three pounds. Each good pound. There's some bread. The general my adventure life, Michigan adventure life dinner. Uh, bread and steak over a fire to close out firearm deer season. It's thick enough that we decided to bring it well above the coals and give it like an hour and a half. So we got our steak going, but it's got quite a ways to go. It's looking great, but it's got quite a ways to go. So we're just making some. You know, Budweiser can, ramen noodles. Super classy. Man. Keep it classy. Ramen party. Huh? Using a couple of those little crossbow bolts as chopsticks. Seems to be working out well. It works. How's your Bud can ramen? Oh, it's delightful. There's the main course. Steak and bread. Only got a little bit of steak left. Fire's getting built back up. You put the steak on the bread, and then you eat it over the fire and drip the juices into the fire. As it is written. It is super delicious. Yeah, really good. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with bread and steak. Build the fire back up and uh, settle in for the night. Finishing the last of the steak and bread off on this, the last day. Shooting light is gone, which means that firearm deer season is officially over in Michigan. I hunted the first to last with John this year. That's pretty good, pretty much. We got Tom out. Never hunted with Tom before, so I'm pretty happy about that. We're just going to hang out by the fire and eat some bread and steak that we have to lift and drink some beers. And Well, I guess we're out of steak and bread and we're out of beer. <laughs> so, we're probably, so we're probably going to bed early. <laughs> Night, guys. What? Morning, guys. Good morning. We got a boner? No. We're, we're filming. We're fil <laughs> filming our boner. We are filming. Let's take a look outside. Oh, that happened. Winner. Good morning. We're getting out of here. We're going to pack up with the inches of snow on everything. Make like a tree. Make like a tree and get out of here. It's a little windy. And the snow, the snow dome 
has the sun dome is held up in the snow once again. Camp is under a bunch of snow. We're gonna try and get packed and out of here before we get just absolutely iced in. So we're gonna have Tom hand us all our shit, run it to the cars, fold the tent in on itself, and just jam it in the car. That's it, man. If you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe down in the lower corner. Like, share, like, share, and subscribe. This has been MI Adventure Life in the snow. Living the dream. Back to winter camping, guys.